It's a vineyard just like many others in the Pfalz, one of the most important wine growing regions in Germany. Eva Pauser is planning something special. She wants to produce a German red wine using the Merlot grapes that are otherwise only usually found in southern Europe. But other winemakers say she's crazy. Crazy is always somehow interesting. It's extremely important to do your own thing and try out what you want. You've got to do something to be different, stand out, to be able to make something of yourself. Eva cultivates 34 hectares, which makes her one of the most important vintners in the country. The 25-year-old was born here in Flonheim, an hour's drive west of Frankfurt. Although it's little more than a big village, it's still one of Germany's most important wine centers. But Eva Pauser wanted more room to expand her business, which is why she recently moved to the outskirts of the town. A new wine bar and a new wine pressing hall. The family owned firm has spent 1.3 million euros on new buildings, almost a whole year's turnover. Eva learned everything about the winemaking trade from her father. But that still doesn't mean she feels she was born to it. I actually wanted to do something creative. I wanted to be an interior designer. Now at least I can do a bit of that by creating my, or our, own life's work. The Vinotech is a bit like the core, the core of the company, where I can make my mark. But winemaking is such a creative profession in its own right, so I don't have any regrets. When it comes to pressing the grapes, Eva Pauser is a real traditionalist. To improve quality, she bought oak barrels from France at 1,500 euros a piece. That might be expensive, she says, but they make red wines such as Merlot a lot better. Whilst Eva deals with the red wines, her father looks after the whites. Friedrich Pauser is delighted that his only child has joined the family firm. To have a woman in charge of a vineyard is still an exception in this business. They all thought that we might not carry on because we had a daughter. And they were really surprised when Eva took over the company. But I think they were sure it would work out because the company has been relatively well managed over the years. Nearly every day, Eva goes through the plans for a wine tasting with her mother. For this, we need a really strong cheese. Eva's life may seem idyllic, but the millions she spent on expanding the business are a huge worry. There are so many things, so many aspects affecting each other that you're bound to have a sleepless night now and then. I'm just glad we have such a healthy, stable family, that we can absorb the whole thing and give each other a lot of support. Eva Pauser has already presented her Merlot at wine fairs in southern Europe. Although it's the home of the grape, she's not worried about regional competitors from France or Italy. She's prepared to go a long way to earn her family vineyard an international following.